We're going to walk through this example on how to solve these two um, reactions right here, basically for the concentrations of A, B, C, and D. So we have four concentrations, and with those we have four differential equations that are the species balance for each of those uh, compounds. So um, here we um, the product C, we want to try to maximize uh, product C. Okay, so that is, um, that one's good. And uh, but we have an undesired product, which is D. Okay, so that's a bad, bad one. We want to try to maximize C in this, um, in this system. Okay, so we have um, initial concentrations. Um, that are given right here. We need initial conditions for this uh, problem and then also some of our constants K1 and K2. So we want to use a uh, Euler's method to solve this and uh, here is the delta time. And we're going to solve out to a total of three seconds. And we also want to calculate the what's called the selectivity is how much C is produced uh, divided by the C plus D as a function of time. So that'll be a fifth equation, that's an algebraic equation. And so these are differential. Um, and sometimes we have um, algebraic equations as well that we want to solve. But we can solve this one after we solve uh, the differential equations. So we want to use the Euler's method, um, basically um, discretizing it um, like this, okay? And then we'll plot the concentrations and, uh, and then calculate the final selectivity. And then this final question is how can we increase the final value of the selectivity? How can we maximize um, the production of C compared to uh, C plus D? Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Excel. That'll be the first thing we do. We'll go ahead and uh, do this in Excel. We'll also show how to do this in Python and MATLAB uh, later on in the course. Um, I'm just going to give a blank workbook right here. And then let me go ahead and minimize um, this one just so we can see the information off here to the right or off to the left. And then uh, we'll work on our uh, Excel workbook here off to the right. Okay, and I'll go ahead and make this just a little bit uh, bigger so that we can see it. So um, let's go ahead and just start formatting this. We'll First of all, just want to maybe make some cells for our K1 and K2. Go ahead and write the things that we already know. That's one liter per mole uh, second, and then 1.5 uh, liters per mole uh, second. So those are just two constants that we're going to use in our uh, differential equations. And, um, and then let's get our initial conditions as well. So A0. Actually, we could just put those in as our first uh, row in our time, after our time, and then we have A, uh, B, C, and D. Okay, and so our time step, um, we could even put a DT right here, um, and that is gonna be 0 0.2 uh, seconds. Okay, so I'll start with uh, zero time, and then that's just gonna be equal to this uh, former cell plus, and then I'll put in my DT right here, and then you have to do um, an F4 key, okay, to make that a fixed or a static reference. And then let's go ahead and just drag this down. I can also copy it. Um, I can copy this cell, and then when I paste it, then it is going to plug in that same formula everywhere, okay? Or I can drag it down um, like this and then go down to a final value of three, okay? So I went down past three, so let me just go ahead and delete everything up until uh, at past three. Okay, so we have uh, zero to three, and then I have my A, B, uh, C, and D. So let's go ahead and just um, you know derive this Euler's method first for these equations. We're going to use an explicit Euler's method as is shown in part A of this. Um, so if we do that, we take um, this term right over here. Okay, I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, we take uh, this equation right here, and we do a um, i plus one minus a i. Okay, so this is kind of like uh, delta a over delta t, and then that's going to be t i plus one minus t i. Okay, and then I'll plug in minus k 
L1 times A um, I times B I. Okay, so I'll plug those in. I'm going to solve for A I plus 1. And so there is uh, the formula for that. So A I plus 1 equals negative K times A I B I times delta T uh, plus A I. Okay, so Euler's method, um, we're going to implement that in, um, in Excel for these different equations. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my initial conditions first. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller again, uh, just to be able to fit it all on the screen. And so uh, let's go ahead and plug in our initial conditions for these initial concentrations, A, B, C, and D. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and start writing my first differential equation, or uh, my first Euler's equ uh, method equation. Um, okay, so that's going to be negative, let me go ahead and put this in parentheses, negative and then K1. I'm going to make that static reference by hitting F4 if you're on a Mac, hit Command T, um, times, and then it's going to be the prior A value, um, times the prior B value. Okay times and then this is going to be then the delta t value okay so I'm also going to make that a static reference as well and then plus um, and then a the prior a value okay so there is my a value and if I just go ahead and fill down then uh, something didn't quite go right here okay oh because I don't have my b value there okay so now I've got to do my, my B values as well, okay? Um, because that depends on uh, these values too. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and do that for B. I'm just gonna follow the same um, kind of formula, whatever's on the right-hand side of that equation. Okay, I'm gonna multiply by delta T and then add the prior B value. Okay, so this is going to be equal to, I'll put in parentheses, minus um, K1, make it static, and then times um, A times uh, B, okay, and then um, minus, and then I'll do my K2, make it static, um, times uh, B times C, okay. So there's everything I needed on the right-hand side of the equation, and then I'll multiply by the delta T. Okay, and then add the prior B value as well. Okay, so let me click enter here. You can see this is going to update, but again, I'm now missing a value for, this is, B is not correct because it's missing this value over here for C. Okay, so I've got to do all of these equations together because they're all coupled. Um, the only one I think that isn't coupled is D. Okay, that's just going to be results. So we can solve that one uh, last. And then I need to also put in just um, a selectivity here um, that I want to calculate after the fact as well. Okay, so C, um, let me go ahead and put this in. It's just going to be kind of the opposite of uh, B. So let's just go ahead and copy this equation. Okay, and then just modify it and then put it into our uh, C. Okay, so I'm going to have a plus sign here, and then a minus sign, okay, yeah, minus sign here times delta T. Uh, I need to make one change. Uh, instead of C6, I need this to be uh, D6, okay, and so there's there are my values of C. Okay, and then uh, let me do D as well. Okay, so that's going to be equal to, um, let me go ahead and put parentheses here. Um, I'll do K2, make that static, and then times uh, the value of B, times the value of C, times um, the delta T. Okay, so you should be getting the picture now on how to do um, Euler's method, and then add the prior value of, of D there. Um, let me go ahead and uh, fill this down. Okay, so there is there are the values of D, and then the selectivity is just going to be equal to C 
divided by C uh, plus D. Now you're going to see uh, division by zero here. If you fill this down, you'll see numbers. Um, but you go ahead and start with the one if you'd like to just replace that cell. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just uh, mark this as as yellow. Okay, just go ahead and highlight it. And uh, so there's the selectivity. The thing that I really am um, wanting for uh, is to maximize this uh, selectivity. So I increase the concentration of or, or what's produced of the C relative uh, to the D. Okay, so let's um, let's go ahead and just check some of these. One of the things that I like to do is just check some of these, make sure I got the static references right. Okay, so I have um, this one is K2 times um, B times C times delta T plus the prior uh, D value. Okay, so that one looks right. Let me go ahead and check one of these as well. Okay, so I've got um, K1, okay, that's in blue. Uh, B15, okay, which is A uh, times uh, C, uh, the C or, or uh, column, which is the B concentration, and and then minus uh, K2 times B times uh, C concentrations times delta T plus the prior um, C value. Okay, so that one looks right as well. So you just want to go back and you want to spot check some of these just to make sure um, you're doing the right things. Okay, and then I can go ahead and plot um, the concentrations, for example. Make sure you remember the, if you hit the shift and control and then the right key, then it'll select over. If I remove the control key and then hit back one, and then hold down the control key again and hit the down arrow, I can select this whole region uh, very easily without using the mouse. Okay, that's important for big data sets that you'll see later. Um, go ahead and just insert a um, scatter plot. Okay, there it just crashed. Um, and so my Excel just crashed. I'm just going to go ahead and end it right here. I think you can figure out um, the rest of it. And um, so just ma what, what do you do to maximize the value of the selectivity? Well, we can... Um, change the initial concentrations of A and B and then that will um, we could use solver for example trying to maximize that last value of uh, the selectivity for example okay so uh, go ahead and try that with the solver so just to review this is um, Euler's method um, and uh, it's not very accurate but it's a good way to just get an approximation of these differential equations in Excel um, we solve these four equations right here, as well as this uh, selectivity. Um, and um, you, know, you can also change the, uh, the delta T value. Um, you typically want to change that until you don't see the solution change anymore. So that we've got the right kind of time step so that we control um, the accuracy. Um, but again, this is just an approximate method uh, using the Euler's um, Euler's technique.